Martha Stewart had a bad Uber ride. Uber is teaming up with Mears Transportation in Orlando and so much more. Let's talk about it. Welcome everyone, Mark here from Uber Hints and there is so much going on in the Uber world. I don't know if I'm going to fit it all in this video. I know my feedback says you guys like to watch videos that are six to 10 minutes long. So if this goes too much over 10, we might spill it into another video for tomorrow. But let me start by saying happy Thanksgiving. I was going to make this video and post it yesterday and then I got so busy. If you watched our podcast, you know that I, or listen to our podcast, I guess would be more appropriate. You know that I was talking about the day before Thanksgiving, one of the busiest transportation and travel days in the United States. I know all of you aren't watching from the United States, but that's what goes on here. And I suggested that we consider working that day and good Lord, I think I'd have to check my app. I don't have my phone here, but I think I pulled down $257 and some cents yesterday. Now, granted, I worked a little more than my typical eight hours, but it was nonstop between the airport runs. And then in the evening, just as I thought it would, Uber Eats really picked up and people were generous. I, that money included my tips, by the way, and people were generous. No one wanted to cook the day before Thanksgiving. Well, I shouldn't say nobody, but enough people that it impact my Uber Eats. So let me start by saying I had a wonderful um, day before Thanksgiving, very profitable. I'm not going to drive today, although some of you may choose to drive today and maybe you know, you'll be taking grandma to visit the family or vice versa. If you do, I would love to hear your feedback down below on how things go on this holiday and also how things went the day before the holiday. Now let's get started on the news. First of all, this week, Martha Stewart um, tweeted or um, posted somewhere, and I, I've got it right here, that she just had a terrible Uber ride. She said it was her first Uber ride ever. And I, I hate doing this. I don't remember exact words, but something about, I just hate posting this because I want Uber to succeed. I'd like to hear her insight, uh, or her insight rather, into why she wants Uber to succeed. I'm just kind of curious because I hear so much people saying in New York, no, we want the taxis to succeed and Uber is interfering with that. So I just like, I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just curious to what her mindset is. But let's take a look at some of the highlights of the Martha Stewart post. First of all, she said that she took the most expensive ride. So I'm assuming it was Uber Black. Now, if I'm going to request Uber Black, I have a high level of expectation. If I order Uber XL, I, uh, I expect a high level of expectation, right? So here's what it says. Media mogul and television personality troubled trek began when she requested Uber's most expensive version of uh, her to be picked up in front of Tiffany's on Fifth Avenue. Okay, that's right, by the way, by um, the Trump residence. We were facing east and I had to go west and south. It took 20 minutes to face southwest. So she's ticked off right out of the gate. Now, why it would t take 20 minutes just to go around the block? I've, I'm familiar with that area and you know, I don't know what time of day it was, but it took a long time, 20 minutes. I mean, is she exaggerating or did it really take 20 minutes just to turn around? Drivers in New York City, let us know down below. seems kind of extreme to me, but I know sometimes when things are going on that traffic can get hectic. Was it a bad choice? by the driver or was it just a bad time to be driving? Stewart's Uber problems didn't end there. She also took issue with how messy the inside of the car appeared to be. Sharing photos. Now I searched for those photos. Regrettably, she took down the post. Uh, water bottles in the back and dirt on the floor. On top of that, the car was a mess inside and out. Now, sometimes 
dirt on the floor in the middle of a busy day, someone gets in with dirty shoes. I can't get out all the time and vacuum in between every ride. You know I encourage you to keep your car clean. Y long time ago, I was gonna say years ago, and I think it was years ago, it might be two years back, I had a video, I think it was called Uber and Lyft drivers are wasting their time. And I, I wasn't implying they were wasting their time driving. My, the implication was they were wasting their time in between rides by not using that time uh, productively. And one of the ways I suggested is just do some simple wipe downs and cleanups. Um, I've mentioned many, many times on this program that I have the um, WeatherTech mats. They're a real easy matter to pull those out, tap them off, turn them upside down, maybe rub them with a wet wipe and put them back. And they really do look good after just a um, you know, one to two minute uh, cleanup in a parking lot somewhere. But having said that, even with Uber Black, it might be hard sometimes to clean dirt off a floor. However, that's one thing I think if you're an Uber Black driver, you have to be aware of. You're getting paid a little more money, so you're held to a higher standard. So you need to follow through with that. When I get into a messy Uber car, that driver does not get, and you know I am a really high rater. Some of you complain that I rate people too high that don't deserve it. One of the things I will not rate someone high on is if they have a dirty car. And I had it happen to me recently. I got in the car, the car was a mess. And the, um, the, he had a drone sitting on the front seat. I rated him, I only gave him a four out of five. So. Um, I had another recent thing happen that was kind of weird. I had an uh, Uber driver was taking me to pick up my rental car, and I started to get in, and then he shooed me away from the front seat and had me, had me sit in the back seat, which I thought was a little strange. Now, I know I have suggested to a lot of you that seating is important for maintaining safety and that sort of thing, but um, I don't know. I, I just felt right out of the gate, I was taken aback a bit by the fact that he wasn't allowing me to just sit in the front. It was a natural place, one person uh, I was going to sit. What are your thoughts? I'd like to hear what you think about that one too. But let's continue to hear about Martha. Um, on top of it all, the car was a mess inside now, and Stuart deleted the Instagram, it was on Instagram, okay. Instagram post Tuesday morning, so this was two days ago. And, um, you know, you don't want someone high profile like Martha Stewart to be dissing Uber or Lyft. Uh, the platform then suffers because of it. Now, some of you may say, yes, we do want her dissing it because we don't necessarily like Uber having this uh, slippery uh, slide. No, that's not a good analogy, is it? But they, they don't want to have, have this, this smooth, carefree um, you know, journey when they're not doing everything properly. There's some validity to that as well. Um, how about tipping? I wonder how Miss Stewart tipped her driver after that ride. Now let's talk about the next big news coming out of Orlando. Uber and Mirrors are teaming up. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with Orlando, Mirrors is huge. Mirrors runs taxis. Mirrors runs shuttles. Mirrors, I believe they operate some of the um, Disney buses are operated by Mirrors. Mirrors is a conglomerate. It, I would say it had a stranglehold on the Orlando taxi market. So in a way, you say, hey, you know, what goes around comes around mirrors. Now you were getting challenged by Uber and um, Uber was winning the battle. So what happened, well, I shouldn't say that. To a certain degree, I think in the low level taxi market, they were winning the battle and mirrors was defiant. They were a real uh, proponent or uh, an opponent against Uber. So it's interesting to see that these two uh, organizations are now teaming up. Now granted, Mears is nowhere near the size of Uber. They're, they're local, right? But here's uh, what the article read. And this is, if you're wondering where this comes from, uh, I gather things from different um, news sources on the internet. By the end of the year, uh, uh, Mears is going to be booking 
through Uber. So here's what's happening. When someone puts a higher level request, not the, um, the low level, but I'm not sure I have to read through here. I think when it's um, Uber Black, they may be and probably will be issued a mirror's vehicle. Okay, so let, let's just read about this. I'll leave my commentary for uh, after I, I get a little information out to you. So the partnership single is the first time that Uber has joined with a taxi company, not individual drivers, to bring them the app, differentiating from the Uber Black and Uber Taxi options available in other U.S. markets. So right now what's happening is instead of sending one of us, they're going to send a mirror's driver. Out of the gate. What does that say for me? That says for me that they are cutting into their drivers. They are now having a um, essentially a super fleet of Uber vehicles, right? They're not calling it that because it's being operated by mirrors. But when a request goes out for Uber Black, I can almost guarantee that mirrors is going to be first in line for every one of those. And if you're running an Uber Black in Orlando, you are going to be shoved way to the end of the line. Now, it's just my supposition. It's what I think is going to happen. Anyone that drives for Black in the Orlando market, what do you think? Do you think that my assumption is correct? Do you think you're going to start getting pushed out of the Uber market? All right, Tom O'Neill, a mirrors driver from Celebration, who used to drive for Uber. By the way, Celebration is a town that was um, founded by Disney. Um, I don't think Disney has a, a hand in it any longer, but when it was founded, it was supposed to be the perfect community. Who used to drive for Uber too, and says he sees the benefits for both companies. Of course he does, because he's driving for mirrors. I think mirrors and Uber are going to benefit. I'm not sure the drivers are. When it's slow, Mirrors drivers will be able to grab some of the Uber rides. For Uber, it brings regular Uber driver rates up a little bit. I don't believe that. I don't believe this is going to drive Uber rates up. Why would it? Why would Uber now increase driver rates? I'm not seeing the logic. Tell me what I'm missing. Uber now has a dedicated fleet of black drivers. Why will it drive rates up for any of the Uber drivers when they already have their Uber Black fleet dedication? Granted, if Mears is busy, it's going to be passing it along to Uber drivers, but I'm guessing that Uber and uh, Mears, I, they work on an agreement with Mears. They have a contract. Mears did not necessarily have to go by the uh, the same um, agreement that we go by. They entered into an agreement. I don't know what it is. They didn't make it public. But my guess is that they are not honoring the exact same rates, conditions, percentages that we are. Though Uber and Mirrors have not yet finalized the pricing structure for the Uber taxi rollout this year, it will be consistent with taxi rates. Notice, consistent with taxi rates, not consistent with Uber rates. <laughs> They're both beating each other up, O'Neill says. So join forces. I don't know. I think there's some value with beating each other up. Isn't that what competition is about? Isn't that how things get better? Isn't, you know, when you join forces, now, what do they call that word? Oh, yeah, monopoly. Let's go on. Uber driver Drew Richardson. Drew, are you watching? Said he also believes the eventual integration of taxi cabs on the app will be will take business away from Uber. I, did I call it Uber XL before? I, I, I meant Uber XL, our, our basic, uh, the more affordable Uber service. If you're at the airport or a hotel, you don't have to wait and wonder who's coming because the taxis are usually sitting right there in front of you. You know it's going to be a mirrors. It's not going to be one of the raggedy rag companies, said Richardson, who lives in Widmere and runs his own business, White Car. I'm not sure what he's saying there. Um, so you order the taxi through the app and you know it's going to be a mirror's taxi. So you're not concerned about getting one of the lower level taxis. Like, of course, you can say the same thing about Uber, right? Uh, what they're saying here, if look what happened to Martha Stewart. She thought she was getting uber black apparently and she got water bottles and dirt and a filthy car 
So are you always sure that you're going to get what you're going to get? In the prior quote, it said, if mirrors gets busy and they, you know, what essentially that means is Uber's gonna be the overflow now instead of the go-to. And what about the integration of two seemingly divergent models, wonders Nick Smith, an Orange County firefighter who drives for Uber and Lyft part-time. I just wonder if all these people out there commenting, uh, getting quoted, if they watch the channel. I would be intrigued and interested to hear from them. Especially with a lot of millennials, says Nick. They look at taxis as being old technology. He might be right, but is it because of the taxi itself or is it because of the way you order it? Ordering taxis was clumsy and slow. And for some people, hailing it was awkward. People didn't feel confident hailing a taxi, but hey, there's no challenge with pushing some buttons on an app. So maybe that is, um, you know, the big difference how millennials see it. I don't think the vehicle itself, you have no control over that. Although, seems like when I get in taxis, they are disgusting. I always get a better vehicle with Uber. Some passengers may still prefer mirrors because of the background, uh, the background checking process rather. For drivers, they will be screened twice through Uber and mirrors. Says Hall, they may feel safer in the taxi if they have a choice right now. Hmm, I wonder, do you think a taxi makes people feel safer? Does a taxi feel sketchier than Uber? Uber gets a lot of bad press. Uh, so that's just one man's opinion, right? Ultimately, the setup could have benefits for both companies, uh, the drivers said, but only if they, I wonder if they had drivers in the room, if they gathered them together, talked to them on the phone. I wonder how, how this interview process took place. But only if the two companies can find a way to work together without giving uh, one an advantage over the other. Okay, when Uber gets in business with anybody, who do you think has the advantage? Uber pushes the limit. Push, 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 push until somebody pushes back. That is the Uber model. Break laws, do something sneaky, do something underhanded, do something that, now I know people are gonna say, Mark, why so negative? I, I'm just telling how it is, right? We know that they have had uh, apps that block things, they had, had spy apps, they have had, um, uh, and when I say spy apps, I'm probably being a, a little loose with that term, uh, tracking apps. Um, but they've done things that they've gotten caught with and they've always backed off after they got caught and after they had pushback, whether it be sexual harassment that became public um, or you know any of these things. So when someone says it gives an advantage of one over the other, I think if you're looking at Goliath, Uber, and David Mears, I don't think that David's going to win this battle. But maybe I'm being a cynic. What do you think? Let me know down below. It's a good thing for Mears, but it's also a good thing for Uber because they're going to get a bite out of that fare. Okay. So Uber is getting a bigger piece of the action. We're running up against time right now. This has run a lot longer than I wanted to. I do want to talk about a uh, Florida man that jumped out of uh, an Uber vehicle and got killed, but we'll save that for another video. I doubt if anyone's going to be watching this one today because it's the holidays, friends, family, a big feast, football. There's so much going on, especially if you're here in the U.S. So I want to thank you for taking the time to watch. As always, I encourage you to leave your comments down below. Please like and share the videos. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'm Mark with Uber Hints.